Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how you remove duplicates from rows. I'm Ashish Mathur and for other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Okay, so here's what the data looks like. I have a six column data set with the first column showing me some unique IDs and against every unique ID, I have up to five trades. Now, please note that for every unique ID, the number of trades may get repeated. So, unique ID A has trade number one shown twice and trade number two shown only once. For unique ID B, there's trade one shown twice once again, trade three shown twice and trade two shown only once. Now, what I'd like to actually do is maintain the same structure in as much as the unique ID should, appear, should be appearing down one column. But then for every unique ID, I need to retain only the unique traits, removing the duplicate ones. So if I take an example of uh, unique ID C there, you'll see why two appears twice there, it appears only once over here. One would be only once over here, three and four over here. So essentially from the data set above, I'd like to remove the duplicate traits for every unique ID. Now, in normal Excel file, you do have the feature of remove duplicates, but that works only on columns, not on rows. Now, I use a certain power query technique to resolve this particular problem. So here's what I'd land up doing. I select the data site over here. Under power query, I say Excel data from table. And first and foremost, I'll actually right click and unpivot these columns. Next, I don't really need the attribute column. I remove it. What I'm next, now you'll see that there are uh, unique, there are duplicate combinations coming. Look at the first two rows over there. I need to get rid of the second or the third occurrence and retain only the first one. So I select this, press the control key, select this as well, right click, and I now say remove duplicates. I'm now left with only unique combinations. Okay, now comes the task of actually introducing the trade column over there, before which I'll actually want to go and change the data type of the value column into text. That's because when performing a concatenation in Power Query, the data types of the multiple columns have to be the same. So I now go to add column. I say add custom column over there. And here say trade, which I want to concatenate with the value. I click on OK and I now get the trade column there. OK, now what's left is to actually convert this into a pivot-like structure wherein the unique ID should be common down um, one single column. I need to take the custom to the column area section and the value should come in the value area section. So if I select this over here, I go to transform, I go to pivot column, use the names in the column custom to create new columns. What should come in the value area section? Value and I do not want to aggregate. And I got the unique IDs, I got the traits, and for every unique ID, you'll see the number of traits are all appearing as unique. There are no duplicates appearing there. I simply go to home there, close and load, and I get my data into a different worksheet. And what you see over here exactly matches what we actually have over here. So no formula writing, no codes, it's all a power query solution. And the icing on the cake over here happens to be that you can write, pick and refresh for whatever modifications you make to your base data. I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. Thank you.